GTA 5 Online has become a war zone or the Wild West, as we should say, and not in a good way, and Rockstar Games could care less. What am I talking about? Well, some of you guys might know the Downtown Cab Company is a brand new business. It doesn't make a lot of money, but it is something to do. But with this business, it is ruining the game. Apps like TikTok, not really YouTube, but mainly TikTok is showing all these kids in GTA Online how to become God Mode, how to do God Mode. Everything is God Mode, God Mode, and God Mode has been a problem in this game ever since it came out. Rockstar, they patch it every once in a blue moon, or when they decide, oh, okay, well, let's actually fix this, but then they come up with 30 other ways to do God Mode. So God Mode will never be gone in this game, but right now, God Mode is happening far more than it should, and it's because of the downtown cab company. The dumbest person in the world, literally the dumbest, can become God Mode by going here. It's not that difficult. All they gotta do is go into that circle right there, press right on the D-pad when the cutscene happens, hold down your triangle, and then you go into God Mode. Simple, easy, stupid. Rockstar Games doesn't care. They turn their head. And we know that they don't care because on January 23rd, we are aware of the PC incident. Well, it's been a whole week and you haven't done nothing about it. People on PC still can't play. It's been an entire week, Rockstar. Big creators, a lot of people in the community are emailing you. You're still sitting there with your thumb up your ass. Now you got other creators that are, you know, complaining about the God mode. God mode this, God mode that, orb spam this, orb spam that. Rockstar, when are you going to give a shit about your players? Well, I mean, let's just be honest. When are you going to get off your ass and actually do something about it is the ultimate question. When people stop playing GTA 5 online, when people stop buying shark cards, when people stop investing in what the fuck plus, ultimately, we need GTA 6. But the scary thing about GTA 6 is GTA 6 going to get the same treatment that GTA 5 is getting when it goes to hell on PC you're just gonna leave it leave it stranded leave it out to die when the updates get a little bit difficult and you guys are running out of ideas are you just gonna kill the game like RDR 2 when your GTA plus sales aren't doing good are you just gonna walk away from GTA 6 are you gonna have an orb spamming content in GTA 6 are you going to have game breaking things in GTA 6 for people can do god mode over and over again because right now in a gta online lobby it's pretty much a deadly game of freeze tag all these nerds and all these idiots are going around in god mode it's like super passive mode it gives all the passive poppin pussies a reason to go in a public lobby and look like they're a badass like look at me i'm not invisible but you can't kill me but i'm gonna go and kill you all the pvp players are upset by this and i don't blame them i'd be mad too because it dims down their content because their content is to you know go around and you know kill people that's what they do that's their livelihood and now you got all these idiots walking around in god mode where's the content it's not that exciting it's like oh watch this guy doesn't die isn't that cool yeah it's awesome you got one idiot shooting the other guy he's in god mode the other guy's in god mode now they're all looking like they're having seizures you know what i mean it's just dumb it's stupid rockstar you're aware of this i'm sure you've got many tickets i mean hell you went on twitter and you said hey we are aware of the problem it's been a week fix it god mode i'm sure the reports are coming in it's been four days and everybody and their mothers in god mode fix it it doesn't take that long for you to get off your ass get in your office punch a couple keys in and put the goddamn thing out there but no, you just want to sit there and watch the goddamn game burn. Just watch it burn and die. Well, I'm not going to lie. You are setting a bad representation on how GTA 6 is going to be. Because you got me nervous. For one, you don't give a shit about player security. It's apparent. You don't give a shit about how people play this game. You haven't done a ban wave since the apartment glitch. So people are out here getting away with literally murder. You just don't care. You don't care. And you're making it obvious that you don't care. You're losing a lot of good players 
a lot of loyal players. What is your take on the God Mode glitch? Have you experienced the God Mode glitch? Have you done the God Mode glitch? Is it ruining your experience in GTA 5 Online? Let me know in the comments. Jack Knight Finnegan, subscribe, like, and comment for more GTA 5 Online content.